I'm Camille Dow Baker, uh, CEO of COST, the Center for Affordable Water and Sanitation Technology. And COST is an NGO um, that provides technical training and consulting in water and sanitation for the poor in developing countries. Um, and that's what we do. Okay. And we just spoke a little while ago and you were saying that as a student you looked at the IRC website, you used our resources, and uh, maybe you can talk about what, you know, what has cost yeah. learn because you started cost, right? As, right. as I understand. Yeah. So what has cost learn from IRC? Uh, well, as you said, I, when I was a student, um, I went back to school as, as a adult student after spending many years in the corporate sector and um, I had a lot of, I knew what I wanted to study was water and sanitation for the poor in developing countries and IRC actually acted as a source of much of my material because it could give me all the things that I wanted to learn and, and um, so it was great. You know, I mean I, w I was pretty well self-studying and so they, you were my overseas partners, so to speak, in supporting that, that role. And as when, when I got out, I realized the, the capacity or, or the ability of an organization like IRC to promote independent action, to give people the tools and the knowledge that they need, know that they needed. And that's really mm -hmm. was a model for cost in terms of getting formed and, and um, what we can do. Now, although we don't do things that IRC does, really, and we do things, um, we try to fill our own little niche. Um, yeah, IRC was certainly a, a big part of our, you okay. know, of, of our modeling. And even uh, your formation of uh, NetWAS and, and your networking of centers, COST is also trying to partner with organizations in countries to deliver the same kinds of services that we do very similar to your model in terms of trying to replicate yourself. Yeah, in countries in by countries, creating yeah. centers that can provide information and services in the same way and right. enable people. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, and uh, maybe you can say something about your niche and you know how, how, how do you see your role there? And right. Yeah. Our niche is Basically, we do two things. We provide training, so and, and we actively go out to the countries. So right now, we have 397 clients in 66 countries, and we did that in nine years that we were formed. Um, and so, so we do a lot of direct delivery. We look for the people who can benefit from our training, and we go to them, and we say, hey, this is what we can do, and do you need it? And if they do, then we find how a way to deliver it. How do you develop your training materials? Really briefly, just to... We develop our yeah. training materials. We have a department called Education Program Development. Um, we do the research. We compile it together. All our workshops are three to four days in length. And they're targeted at uh, people in the communities. So people who don't need a lot of education. So we don't target, like IRC, the professionals. We target non-professionals, people who are not professionals in the water and sanitation, so that they can do the community work. Um, so community health workers, entrepreneurs who build sand filters in the communities, um, the community program implementers, those are our target audiences. Okay, great. Well, it sounds really interesting and good luck with it. Yeah, yeah great. And it's a good compliment to what IRC is doing. Yeah, I, I've admired IRC for many, many years and I continue to do so. Okay.